Hi everyone. I am back to show you guys what I got in Mexico, what I went shopping for. If you didn't see the video, I will link it up here. But if you did see the video, you'll see how all the bead shops are arranged. And San Luis is technically a smaller town. That's where my parents are from. But they say that in Mexico City, it is absolutely nuts. So maybe someday I'll make the the trek all the way to Mexico City. But for now, I was super excited to go to a different country to go bead shopping and see what it was like. And I came back with a ton of goodies. It's so weird because they, not weird, but a little, little bit different than the bead shops here. There, everything is like so sparkly. They love their sparkle at the shops. And that's kind of what you find the most. Let's get into it. I won't chat anymore and show you what I got. All right, so for the first item is I got these adorable little crosses. And you know, I think that for stretchy bracelets, things like that, maybe even natural stone, uh, gemstones, you can use these, or even with pearls. These little crosses, I think pearls are so much in style right now that that's kind of what I got them for, to put some uh, glass pearls with them and put them on a stretchy bracelet. So I've got the uh, crosses and then to go with the crosses, I've got, I got two strands. Well, I got two strands of the crosses and these are the other color, the other color way, as you can see, it's really pretty. It's got these teals and a little, instead of like, instead of the turquoise and we've got some purple and the pinks are a little bit more lighter, a little bit more on a cooler tone. So we have a different, and we've got some hot pink right here. So a little bit different than the other strand. Here's both of them at the same time so you can see how the colors vary. So I've got, I got those. And then to go with those as well, they had these little uh, skulls, which are perfect right now for Halloween to um, make some really pretty Halloween earrings. Again, you've got different color schemes here i think no these pretty much are the same they're just arranged differently on the line on this like fishing line that they put them on so anyway i got two strands of these beautiful skulls and i can't wait to make some halloween jewelry with these even you know everyday wear i think i've seen them not just for halloween so definitely cute then i got these beautiful rondelles i think i might have to put those other ones were easy to see on the that wood background but i think i'll need to put my little uh cream colored mat on so you guys can really see the colors of these beautiful rondelles these are pink pink and i believe these are size six Oh my goodness, I need to grab my caliper. So it's a six, six millimeter rondelle. So I was right, I'm getting good at eyeballing the sizes on these. <laughs> so we've got the uh, lilac, and then we've got a pink, and a beautiful champagne with a rainbow finish on it. These make really, really elegant jewelry. Uh, so we have those, I bought three big strands and on the same, oops, and on the same note, I used some of these clear ones already, but we've got some beautiful crystal, crystal rondelles, six millimeters as well. And again, with that beautiful rainbow finish to them, make again, very fancy jewelry. And then I've got, I got some, some smaller rondelles and look at these strands, you guys are super long. These are the size four rondelles. Again, very sparkly, that rainbow finish that you, that I saw a lot in the shop. And I've got, I think these are bigger than those other ones. Are they the same? Nope, I got several strands of the clear, so I got more of those. I basically took everything I had in the bag out 
of my bag. <laughs> then I got these huge black gorgeous drops. And let me just put this one back in there. And I thought I made a knot on these, but maybe not. Like I said, they just, I don't know, it's kind of really cool to see all the beads, but then it kind of got a little messy after a while. These are 10 by 16 millimeter drops. Again, I got all these and all these. Look at those, got a ton of them. So again, very sparkly, just gorgeous, beautiful drops. Make gorgeous jewelry. I got some more of these little rondelles, which are the same as the other ones, same size. All these are, I got some greens and teals, again, of this beautiful cream color. And these are fours, size four rondelles. Then I got these other gorgeous drops. They are not round, these are flat sided. I wish I would have gotten more colors on these. Look at how gorgeous these are. But you know, they have everything in the back. So you're like pointing at stuff and there's a lot of people there. So you're like trying to figure out what colors you want. I think I need to go next time much more prepared as if, you know, the next time I go there, much more prepared as to what colors I want and just uh, ask if they have them. But these, these drops are also size 10, really gorgeous flat drops. So, then I got these gorgeous stones. Look at these. Look at the finish on the stone. They're agates and they're, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're dyed, but it says here Agatha and the price and the address where I got them from. But these are agates and I just love the shape because they're, o they're this oval shape, but they're like cut on the side here they have these cuts so they're not completely flat they have just different cut shapes on them which make them so pretty for pendants look at and then they have these like lines or striations through them you know you've got like beautiful uh little di you know like i don't know what to call them striations changes you know, so there's none, none of them, even though they're kind of the same colors, none of them are the same as far as design. Look at how beautiful this has these white lines going through it. So this pink one, look at this pink one. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit so you guys can see how pretty that pink one is. It's got like these little black spots, but it's, look at how they're, they look like they're carved in there. So just in the finish of these stones are just beautiful. So, the size of these stones, in case anybody is curious, 39 by 21 millimeters. I love this one. This one is so pretty. And then I got these cute little pearl beads right here. Look at how pretty these are. These I got on a steel. They were like on clearance. So I thought they were super cute as a as a centerpiece on, a, it could even be like on a bracelet. Wouldn't that be really pretty? I don't even know why they were on clearance because they're so pretty, but I took advantage of them. <laughs> I got more of these rondelles. These again look to be the size, what did we say these were, six? Yeah, these are the size six as well. In champagne color, I got, I think, yeah, size six rondelles in champagne. And then I got these little drops, and these I know are size twos. I remember her saying that. Size two, the, look at how beautiful that like cobalt or that metal, metallic, like gray, blue color. Maybe, I would think maybe it's like a cobalt. And again, very sparkly, very nicely cut beads. So, and they were really, a really good price. I got some more of these size six drops. So pretty, so elegant. Then I've got size three pearls. 
three millimeter. These are so pretty as accents as well. I got some of this chain. I love this Rolo chain and I wish I would have gotten more, but like I said, it was packed. I was in a hurry and it was hot because <laughs> everybody was there bunched up wanting something or another. And I wish I would have gotten in silver, but this roll chain, roll chain is really nice to, you know, it's really easy to open the links. And again, at a very affordable price. And then I got look some more of the size four rondelles. And these are more like a garnet, really pretty garnet color. So Again, very sparkly. Look at how long that strand is, like super long. I don't know, it won't even fit in the camera. Well, I have it zoomed up so that, zoomed in so you guys can appreciate the stones. And then I've got these drops and I got two, but I made my mom a necklace and I used some of them. So these are like crystal, these are, transparent crystals and these are size two and then I got a size two in a light pink she wanted some pink in her necklace and did her I made her some uh, wire wrapped jewelry and then I got these gorgeous coins again I wish they had these I know I asked for more colors and these were the last ones they had left so these are like crystal crystal coins these are size eight flat coins but they're not completely flat because they have like these cuts again if you look at them from the side they're not flat and these these like uh fire polish cuts to them are make them sparkle even more so i can't wait to use those so pretty and i got some bicones in blue size four a uh, beautiful royal blue bicones with a rainbow finish to them they have like some sort of no well more of a metallic not not too rainbow more of a metallic finish or you know wash so really pretty got the same ones in yellow like these two i think would go so pretty i think i was in my mind trying to match <laughs> So those colors are really pretty together. And then I've got these champagne drops, size four millimeter drops. Again, look at how, how much they sparkle. They just have that gorgeous sparkly finish to them. And, and we have some more of those little drops. Are these larger than maybe I was I was saying these were size two, but no. The other drops were size four, I'm sorry. I wish they would have labeled, they, I wish they would label these at least. <laughs> Throw on a number. Smelly size four millimeter drops. And then I've got some of the black rondelles. I couldn't, I couldn't leave without some basic black, different shapes. I got those other drops and now I also got some rondelles as far as drops go then i have i got these beautiful these were a really good price and he even gave me a discount because i bought all that other those other beads but these are true uh freshwater pearls i think they're fresh yeah they're freshwater pearls look at how pretty these are and it doesn't say here what size they are about a size four little little more a little less depending on the shape because it looks like they're more of a potato shape if i'm not mistaken or rice potato shape so really gorgeous can't wait to use that then i've got these uh, more agates and they don't all fit because it was a huge long strand but look at how gorgeous they are Look at that finish. I can't wait to use these. These, uh, I made, I used one on my mom's uh, necklace. Look at how gorgeous, look at the finish. Again, they're dyed, of course, but look at this. That purple, like bluish color. 
I make some uh, Vikings jewelry. <laughs> Look at that. How pretty that these are. They because they're not just you know one solid color. The gemstone, natural gemstone agate. Look at this gray. You see how they have those lines? So they definitely have some character to the to them. They're not just these flat coins. Look at this one. It's so pretty. I think I made sure to uh, to find to grab the ones that had more purple in that because it's one of my favorite colors. But look at this this white one with that orange. These are just beautiful agates as well. So they did have some gemstones, but not not too much. Then we have more of these sparkly things. Oh, okay, so these are more rondelles in pink. Again, I didn't know how many I was needing for my mom's necklace, so I got a bunch of pink ones. <laughs> so got that beautiful finish to them that make them sparkle so much besides being, you know, uh, besides the cut. And look, at I've got some more of these champagne... I don't know, goldish drops, size four. I can't believe how much these sparkle. Then I got this huge, uh, another one of drops. Uh, this one is not as big as the black one, but I wanted it to match those cobalt small ones. About a size seven millimeter drop, looks like at the largest point. So look at how much you get. Again, very good uh, price for these. Just gorgeous. But I couldn't get too many. I couldn't go too crazy because I would have to pay. I would have to pay extra on the plane if I wanted to carry all these. Then I got these fun eyeballs. Look at these, you guys. Aren't they just so, they call them Turkish eyes. But they're all sorts of colors and shapes. Again, I've seen them a lot on stretchy bracelets. Are these not fun or what? These are like, these are larger. And then I got the little ones here. But are they not fun? Oh my gosh, they're so much fun. I love them. I love the little eyeballs, they're so cute. <laughs> Again, perfect for Halloween, I guess. Or like I said, they're very in style. I even saw them in a lot of jewelry in Mexico. So, and they're very well made. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're not just like resin or plastic. They're true glass drops. Really, really pretty. So I got those. Then I did get some, oh my gosh, I went crazy with these. And I don't know how many people that are watching are religious, but I had so much fun. I got these pendants. And I got some Frida's. I love Frida. And then they have like the Frida in like a cartoon shape. Look at that. Is that not cute or what? I got one of the Virgin of Guadalupe right there with these beautiful uh, like white stones on the side. Just gorgeous. Like I said, if you're religious, that might be your thing. But look at the Fridas. I got them in silver and gold. And I got all these, you guys. I got so many. <laughs> and then this is the holy... Uh, no, sorry. These are the four archangels, which is super cool as well. I've never seen something like that. And uh, they have them in a larger size. Look at the, the filigree or the work around the little frame that they put on them. They're so cute. Some more Fridas, a ton of Fridas. And then I've got the Virgin Mary, again, Virgin of Guadalupe. So it's got a very uh, simple frame, but I wanna decorate it, you know, make some pretty uh, finish around it. But you guys, look at all these. I just went crazy with all the Fridas. I love Frida. And I've been looking for these Frida pendants for the longest time. I have. I know Jesse James Beads had some for a while, but I love Fritos and they had a ton. I'm lucky that I didn't clean them out. <laughs> they're lucky I they're lucky I didn't clean them out because my mom's like, isn't that enough? I'm like, no, I want them all. So you'll be seeing those going up on my Etsy shop soon. <laughs> 
I don't know if I if uh, I should just put up the actual just the pendants or some I might just do some pendants some jewelry we'll see some already you know finished jewelry we'll see what 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 I come up with but they're just so cool I love Frida one of my favorites free favorite um, painters and then I got these look at these just to just check them out these are um what do you call it? crimp beads look at that they're like 10 pesos i don't even think that that's what is that a penny <laughs> but you get all these for 10 pesos it's just crazy you guys do the currency converter but i swear it's like a penny or that if even uh and then the i did i did get these resin these are resin or plastic little smiley faces again to make stretchy bracelets for kids, teens, young adults <laughs> to give for Christmas and I up and put up some on my Etsy shop. And then I got these really pretty, they're like, they have like a pearl finish, but I don't think they're a shell finish, but I think they're, look at how pretty these cubes are. But I think they're just, it's just a shell, a shell coating to them. But I don't even think that, are they, let me see, are they glass? Yeah, they're glass. I thought they were plastic, I take it back. They sound like, they sound like glass. I might have to break one and see, but I would be, I don't know. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> but these are so pretty. Look at that, isn't that pretty? To add as accents. There we go. And then I've got some of these uh, eyeglass holders I've been wanting to make. First of all, for myself, because I keep putting my glasses everywhere. Or if I put them on my head and then they end up stretching. So I wanted to make myself a nice glass, you know, glasses holder. So I've got these there too. Like I said, just a variety of stuff. I got these. Look at these beads. They're, they are... Um, they're crosses. I, these I will take. The other smileys, you know what they look like. But I wanted to take these out to show you guys. And I have a little... I got some of these containers at the dollar store. The dollar store has the best stuff for storing beads that I have found so far. Like super affordable. So that's a tip. See how... And these are, I think we're in the snack or in the food section. But look at how they are. They're little, okay, these look like they're, they're made of pl plastic. Yeah, these like a hard plastic. But they're little um, crosses. Is that cool or what? Very, all these are little crosses. So I thought that was really cool. I had to get a pack. And then I got some of these eye pens in gold. There's a, over there I see a lot more gold than silver. I see way more gold items than I do silver. So I got that. Then I got these two to, I wanted, I totally had to make um, something for my daughter. But I got these adorable lollipops. I think these are resin as well. They kind of feel almost like rubbery. So I don't know. So really, really adorable little lollipops. <laughs> and let's see what else did I get? Oh, and then I got some of this wire. I wanted to check it out because they say triple A wire is really, really good. It's really hard to take off the coating on top. Which, I mean, you still have to be careful and handle it with care as far as, you know, using your nylon jaw pliers to bend or to hold it, hold the wire in place. But um, when I was doing my mom's necklace, they it really held up really, really well. So I got 18, 20, and then I got this gorgeous lilac color in 28. So again, artistic wire and triple a is a really good quality wire i've also used beetalon which i like i really like as well but i've been just wanting to test out other types of wire 
I got this jewelry wire from, uh, it's called Designs Wire. This one is in the US. And this one also is a triple A premium quality. Again, really good wire for those of us that like wire wrapping, really good wire. They have all sorts of sizes. Um, and that's the name Designs Wire. They have tools and beads and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to test them out. So I got some from them. But I bought this in Mexico. I don't even know if this wire is sold here, but I also needed it to make my mom's necklace. So I figured I'd test it out. Then I got this. It's <laughs> it's supposed to be comparable to Soft Flex, but nothing compares to Soft Flex. Soft Flex is amazing. But again, I was in a bind. I needed. I needed everything. You should have seen the pliers I was using. I think it was like my dad's tools. It was hilarious. But I got some of this wire and it's, I don't think I've ever seen this color. It's kind of like a gold, antique gold wire in a mustard color. But look at the packaging, you guys. That's so funny. There's like no name. I don't even know where this came from. Uh, it says a manufacturer of metal. It says it made in China. I don't even know. This is six meter, 60 meters, but I don't even know how many pounds it holds up to. So anyway, that's why I would definitely go with. <laughs> I'll stick to my soft flex because I know what I'm using. But I, again, I bought this in an emergency <laughs> situation. I didn't have everything I needed. I also got this uh, Crystal Tech, it's called. It's made in China. It's a size 0.7. And it seems to be really good stretchy, uh, stretchy wire, stretchy, ring, um, stretchy stringing material. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. But you know, I've, I use this to make a bracelet too, and it turned out really, really nice. So it, you get a ton for the price. I remember how much I paid for this, but look at look at that roll. That's gonna last me like forever. But I do have that magic stretchy stuff. So I can't think of the name right now. I do not know why, <laughs> but you guys know what I'm talking about. And then I got these little beads. These are used a lot in jewelry over there. They're like these little metal beads that are great. You know what, if you, you know, for what, if you use, or if you do wire work, you can use these to add that a little sparkle, a little accent to your wire designs. I know a lot of people like to use copper, but I really am enjoying using gold, silver, and different colors. But these are a little bit bigger. I think these might be like a, two millimeter and these like are one and they sell them by the pound or by the kilogram which is awesome so i think i bought like 100 grams and 150 200 grams i don't know maybe these were 300 but i use these little ones a lot more and they really add just that little extra and it's great when you want to cover up any wire you know any wire working that you that doesn't look that great or any crossing that if you want to um, anchor when you when you're anchoring wire, it's great to cover it up with these little uh, beads, I guess, little metal beads, spacers, spacers. I don't know what I guess I would call them metal spacers, but they're very popular um, in Latin America when you know making wire wire jewelry. So this is my Mexican bead store haul. What do you guys think? Which ones were your favorite? I love these little eyeballs. I think these might have been my favorite besides the, the natural agates, these round circles, and the other ones that are oval shaped as well. Those are kind of my favorites of everything I got, but I love everything. So I always, as always, I wanna make something after I do show you guys everything I ordered. Let's go ahead and do that. So let me grab my tools and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I finally figured out something that won't, I think, take too much time to make. We're gonna be making this pendant here. 
and I think this one I kind of tried to go with the colors the grayish colors I used the black and these uh, I think like metal metallic blue or oh what was the name I call these now I can't think of it for some reason <laughs> And then I added a nice large rondel. I think this is like a size probably, I wanna say a 12, but I added that to the bottom. So, and then you can see I the hook is back here. It's kind of hidden, which is what I like. So you can hang it and put it on, put it on a chain or add something else to it if you want to. So anyway, we're gonna make this one. I'm just gonna change the color slightly. So I have a little, because I don't have the same color stone. So we're gonna go with this beautiful purple agate here. You Look, at it's got some brown here in the back, but I like this side butter. And then we're gonna use uh, this. How much is this? It is almost 11 centimeters of coil with using 26 gauge wire i made some coils and then i got five of these beautiful drops that i got from jesse james beads and then i got this gorgeous coin i don't have a i didn't have a bit another big rondelle like this that would match the color scheme i'm going with so i got this gorgeous large rondelle this one is about, I wanna say one and a half centimeters wide. Well, round, cause it's round all around. <laughs> and then these drops are about, I wanna say a little bit over a centimeter long. So I got that and then I took out an, one of these little round drucks. And I, I think this is probably like a four I'm thinking this is a, a four round. And then these little, to use as petals, I'm using these crystal uh, little drops here. And then I'm gonna use 20 gauge wire. And I'm going to use, and then I'm going to use some 24 gauge. I recently purchased this star wire and it's a really good wire. I got this one in Mexico, like I told you guys. Design Wires is very good. It's a triple A grade, but this one is a triple A grade. And I'm thinking about getting some more of these and adding them to my to my Etsy shop. So let me know what you guys think if you are interested in wire as well. So yeah, all right, now that I did my little plug. And then you're basically gonna need your basic tool. You're gonna need your basic tools, a side cutter, your uh, nylon jaw pliers and just flat pliers either the that one or these the, i really love these like little tiny needle nose pliers those are really cool and uh i'm liking these too it's kind of what i've been using a lot and then of course you're going to need some round nose pliers so to start off with we're going to cut of this wire here this 20 gauge wire we're going to start off to make our base. I am going to cut approximately 20 centimeters. That should be enough, more than plenty. So, but I always like to have more than less. And we're going to use this as our base. And then to straighten it out, you can either use this wire straightener from Beadalon. You just have to be careful not to let it hit these metal parts here but otherwise it's a really nice wire straightener and you don't have to ruin your nylon jaw pliers to straighten wire even though the nylon i just changed these little things i think that these are ended up being a little too big for my for my nylon jaw plier but that's okay they still work and the other ones were really ragged. And you can use your nylon jaw pliers to straighten out your wire. And then we're going to first, before we add the stone, we're going to make a wrap loop. So I'm just gonna take these flat nose pliers, bend it a little bit, and then take my round nose right there, kind of like a quarter into the round nose. 
pliers and then twist it over like that and then move your pliers out of the way and twist finish twisting it back and then you can just if you want with your fingers you could just twist i usually do about three three twists or you can use your pliers the wire is a little bit hard for you to twist so then we can just straighten out our little loop and then squish these little roll you know squish these uh wraps and then just really cut close to the right there cut that little piece of wire make sure you hold on to your wire so you don't poke your eye or poke anybody's eye out <laughs> so then i'm going to take my agate round bead and this agate is let's see it, this agate is three centimeters in case you wanted to know the measurement um and so i'm just going to like i said i think i ended up with a lot of wire here but that's that's okay so what we're going to start doing is uh we're going to wrap this bottom as well, but let's see, I think I need about, how much did I do on here? Yeah, see, you don't really need that much. Uh, I wanna say, yep, about that much. That much should be enough. And then you gotta leave a little space to wrap your wire down here. Let me take this out of the way and don't throw away your extra wire because you can always use it for something else and then again do the same thing wrap take it out of the way like that and then just twist your wire with your hands or with a tool this one i was able to get the the loops a little bit closer to each other and there we go. See, we got our little loop. You don't have to straighten much out of that one. And then just, so now that I have those two sides, now we've got basically our base. To do this sides right here, the herringbone, we're going to need 22 gauge wire. So I've got it in gold as well. And this one's a little bit darker but you really won't see it because it'll be covered up. And in a way it'll it'll stand out nicely too. So, let me take out a piece here. There we go. So then what you're going to do is first anchor your wire. Oops. Come on. So grab leave a little a little uh bit here to anchor and then just do about three wraps nice and tight and again squish your your wraps together and then with this since i haven't taken it off the roll i can really pull nice and tight there we go like two. and then cut right here make sure you put in any you uh, use pliers to tuck in any loose wire so like that and then Make sure this is straight, nice and straight wire. You can use your nylon jaw pliers to do that. Nice straight wire. And then what we're gonna do is bring, bring it this way up close here. Bring it up, the wire up and hold it between. So even we do have a lip here. So even though it's a little bit rounded, so it can be a little tricky, you would want to put it on top of the wire. 
go over the top, wrap it around. All right, so it looks like the my cell phone camera quit recording, so I don't know what happened, so I apologize. All I did was add the coil to, I wrapped it after I did the herringbone wrap of just the 20 gauge alone, I mean the 22. And then what I'm doing here is just adding the other half of the coil. I did expose the coil right here, kind of separate it. You can cut it in two pieces if it makes it easier for you, or you can just kind of pull it apart right where it goes around this top, this top wire. So I'm gonna keep an eye on my phone, make sure it doesn't do the same again. So I'm just gonna finish going down here. So I'm just going to wrap this piece of coil right to match it up with the other one and go right there. Make wrap it around a few times just to make sure it's secure. And now my finger got stuck here. So there we go. Now we've got our coil around the stone. Now I can just cut this piece off now that I did a few wraps. There we go. And make sure to tuck in that end. I swear my nail polish is peeling off. Ah, oh, terrible. I just didn't want to film this video with my nails all destroyed, but next time they'll be a lot nicer. <laughs> All right, so now that we have that, now we're going to take some 24 gauge wire. And this is what I'm going to use to add our drops. So let's make sure it's nice and straight. Like so. And then we're going to just anchor it right here, just like that. Leaving that lip so you can hold on to it. Nice and tight, about three wraps is what I did. And kind of tighten that up. Now I'm going to use just a really, I'm just going to use a very long piece. I can't work off the roll for this one. So just cut a wingspan, meaning the length of your arms. <laughs> and then grab this little lip and grab the, and really tighten that up like so. And then you can cut it. Very bold. There. And I'm going to tighten that right there. So now what I'm going to do is start adding our little, these little drops one by one and then framing them. So I'm just going to add the first drop, the chubby side up. <laughs> so I'm going to take this right here and then I'm going to hold the little, the little drop. I'm going to give it a little bit of room so that I can wrap it around and then wrap it around to anchor it. See how I just wrapped that little stone and that's to anchor it. So now we're going to go around again. So this time we're going to make a frame so that's why I'm going in front and usually with herringbone you go in the back but since we're making a frame for our drop we're going in the front so there now we have our first drop oops and then go all the way around sorry <laughs> like that now we have our first drop that is nice and and framed. So now we're gonna put another drop like so, and then make sure you're leaving a little space so that you can make your wraps, little space right there on the bottom. Don't go all, don't bring your drop all the way to the bottom or you're not gonna have any space to wrap your drop. So just leave like 
I want to say probably about three quarters of a centimeter right there and then hold it oops and then bring it down start wrapping so first we're going to anchor it by going all the way around see we've got our first half wrap and then we're going to go and frame we'll frame our little drop and we're going in the front don't worry if it it comes all loosey-goosey we will adjust and stabilize everything in a minute and go around make one full turn on the last once you're done framing it <clears throat> make sure that your your drop is nice and framed adjust it like that and we have two and we're coming out through the center so we're going to add another drop in there so now we have it here and again we're going to leave a little space right there and we're going to start by anchoring it to the wire by going all the way around and making see so now that we've anchored it one half now we can frame we're going to go around the front to hide that half anchor and then we're going to go all the way around the bottom and now we have three little drops like that like in a really pretty leaf formation and now let me see how many we have on here how many did i add here so one two three so we added six i added six drops to that other one and so now we have our little leaves oops yeah turn that one this way like that now what we can do is now i need to go all the way now i need to go all the way down here to this side so what I'm going to do is go around this one. And since this one ended up with some weird wire wrap, I'm just going to go around it again to hold it in place. Hold the frame in place. There. And we'll go down to the next one. Make sure everything's nice and held in place. So then we'll go down over here kind of go down like wrapping around like that and making one one wrap around the bottom hopefully that will make sure our now we're going to this side all right so now that we have our leaves on this side now we can go ahead and make our flower now for our flower what we're going to do is use these i used six on this one but these are larger drops i used six on the one that i made originally but we have larger drops here so what we're going to do is use five only and again put your stone in here uh, with the chubby side up <laughs> like that and now again we're going to since we're making the flower we're going to leave a little bit of space there like if we were going to do one of these leaves and anchor it on go around like that so now we have it anchored there so now what we have to do is finish framing this drop so we're just going to go all the way down remember we're framing in the front so that so that it gives it a nice frame finish just like that 
You can even arrange it if you want. And then put our next one. Now here, what you're going to do is that you want to take, you want to make a little bit of like a bend here to make space for it, to make space when you're making a flower. You don't, so basically what I'm going to do is take, leave like maybe half, um, half a centimeter, um, like that, just make that little, see how we have that little space from one to the other, like that, so then, and then you still want to leave a little space from here to here, like that, so now we're going to leave that space, and we're going to anchor the anchor the the drop Oops, without getting in the way of anything else like that so so now that the drop is anchored now we can go ahead and frame it by going around the front. Make sure you hold on to it tight on the front. Like so, like that. And then you're going to wrap it around to come up and you want to come up on this side here. See, make sure you're adjusting your frames just to make sure they're nice and neat. Like that. So now we have our five little petals, so to speak. And I think that should be enough to make a really pretty flower. Yep. So going to use two, three, four. I think I think with six. Yeah, I think six rondelles will work just fine. If not, we'll add more if we need more. And then we can put this center in, which I think will make it look a lot nicer. So what you do is that you take, you put in this rondelle, like this, and all you do, you don't go around or anything, all you're going to do is wrap it around. Make sure that it's nice and, and wrapped. So for this, you just basically go around, oops, take the little wire off, you go around and around and around oops without making sure you're going around the outside of your rondel and I'll show you just a second how it looks see Oh, you have just a little frame, and then you put your second one in. There you go. So, now that we have those in the center, instead of trying to do that, we're going to, now that we're done, it's kind of hard to do this without getting my big old head in here. Okay, there we go. Now, Got this sticking out to the center, like so. And we're gonna put this teal one in here, like that. That way we can finally anchor all these together. Well, first, yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay, there we go. 
now we're going to finish this. Sorry, I had to speed up. I'm going to have to speed up some of these, these, uh, this process because otherwise this will be, we'll be here for, I'll make you guys be here forever and get bored. Not go in the front. There we go. You want it in the front like that. There's one and I think for this one, because the flower is so big, we're just gonna leave it at those three little petals. I think it looks perfect just like that. And it just looks really, really nice. And then I want to be able to anchor this flower and everything to the base, to the base so that it doesn't flop around like it's been doing most of the time. <laughs> so now that we have that, then just quickly, 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 we will grab some 20 gauge wire and I don't have, I don't think I, I don't have any head pins in gold. So we're gonna make a quick head pin. I don't know if you've seen me make a head pin, but I'm gonna cut it right about there. I know it's probably more than I need, but just all you have to do is cut a piece like this. Take your round nose pliers, swirl this around, make like a little, uh, right at the tip of your, of your, the smallest tip of your, see how I made that little, smallest tip of your round nose pliers. And then before you take it out, I took it out so you guys could see it, but you want to go up like that and then put it through this little, these little loops that you made. See how it comes out this side and then pull it a little bit. But what you want to do is put your giant nylon jaw pliers and pull nice and tight and see it ends up like a little rosette so we're going to put that little guy in here and we're going to do our wrap loop as usual so go like this sideways grab your round nose and like that go over move your pliers out of the way and then readjust a little bit and now instead of closing it right away make sure you anchor it onto this guy right here so you don't have to use a jump ring and make it even longer now we hold we have our loop then we just hold it down with the pliers and then we made the three loops three loops right there cut our end right there and oops and tuck in the end and we are done there we go there is the flower pendant. Which one do you like best? The silver or the gold? So if you're still with me, thank you so, so much for watching. I know this video got to be a little bit longer than I expected. I did buy a lot apparently in Mexico because I don't think the this tutorial, it took long, but not that, not that long. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this tutorial so that YouTube can bring it to other people as well. And of course, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more tutorials like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next unboxing. Bye.